Happy New Year guys! Jeho here. This is my first video of the year. How is your New Year um, going? You know, I really hope everyone to uh, succeed whatever you want to achieve in 2023. So let's begin with my first video of the year. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your lighting effect in your Omen 40L. I received a few questions from um, um, my audience um, sp specifically asking for uh, the setting of the colors and, and changing the effect and, and so on. So I decided to create this video as my first video of the year. So let's begin. Um, in order to uh, start your um, the, the light uh, settings, you need to go to the Oman Gaming Hub. And if you go to Oman Gaming Hub, uh, you will see a few menus and you need to select uh, Oman Desktop. And here you see these six menus and uh, you need to go to the lightings. So Oman provide two lighting uh, the settings. One is uh, what they call basic studio another one is uh, the Oman light studio so you will see this uh, small banner on top of your screen and if you press launch you will see this uh, um, oops um, my light studio has launched so you will see this um, two uh, uh, setting menus one is uh, basic lighting another one is the the light studio okay so let's begin with this uh, uh, basic lighting so there are um, four zones um, the first one is um, the rectangular that you see at the front uh, bezel zone two is uh, lighting effect that that share the light on your motherboard and um, it's not zone 3 or or 4 but um, there there is um, something called RGB uh, zone and another one is ARGB uh, zone so there is something called um, RGB or ARGB controller in here Omen or HP, they call this as a lighting board, and that's installed on the side of your physical PC. And the fourth one is the the memory, which is quite straightforward. Um, you have nice uh, visualization of this HyperX uh, Fury uh, DDR4 memory. So um, let's let's change the colors. So uh, there are two ways of changing colors. Uh, the first you, you, you select these this uh, whatever the zone that you want to change and whether you go to basic or advanced so basic is basically you know you play with a single colors but if you go to advanced you know you can uh, change uh, more more decent um, these RGB colors and also change the intensity of your your color effect and uh, two so um, this one uh, uh, zone one which is this rectangular uh, the Oman logo uh, lighting this is a simple color settings that you can do but in zone two uh, which support ARGB you can do quite uh, complicated settings from this uh, the the pre preset uh, addressable uh, patterns from breathing uh, color cycle blinkling to the system vitals and you can even change the speed you have these four four patterns that, that you can select. Also, you can you know um, uh, choose the, the base colors, or you can go to advanced and, and change a very detailed the color chord. And in here, I use just uh, the preset the themes, and I usually use as a, uh, use these color cycles of the galaxy. And in in my another video, actually, I used this red one. Um, this, I like this red color uh, when you shed a uh, light onto uh, on the surface of this motherboard. It, the system really looks cool. So I use this volcano a lot. 
can look at uh, my short videos I uh, which I put uh, this volcano uh, effect on the 40L and um, so so those are one and two so uh, this this uh, RGB board or or ARGB board what it does is actually quite simple so if you look at this picture you know you have these two fans right so these are controlled by this uh, here ARGB Jones and this one, this rectangular one, that is uh, that controls um, the C, um, I mean, which is uh, CPU cooler. That one is controlled by uh, this one. So you, you just simply go to this one and uh, to change the colors or the galaxy breathing or color cycle, whatever you want to do. That will change the color of um, the CPU cooler. And if you go to this one, uh, one is uh, the bottom. Um, cooler and the, the two is the upper cooler or the middle cooler and if you are using the 40L you don't have the third cooler so uh, you have to install um, your your own coolers um, from the aftermarket and in this one you know this is also quite uh, straightforward you can change direction or the speed you can go with the uh, uh, these presettings and, and change colors. You can go to customs and and, and set up uh, more complicated colors. Okay, so this is how you set. Um, ah, sorry, the 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 last one is uh, how you change this uh, memory colors, which is um, the same pattern that they can change. If if you want to go to static, just use this one, and, and this is static, right? Okay. Um, I mean, same for the other settings too. If you uh, you have the, uh, if you wanna go with uh, the static, you just change mode to be these static ones, okay? And, and this one, as you can tell, this is uh, the off mode, which probably you will not use. So, anyways, this is how you set uh, by using uh, the basic the setting mode. And if you want to uh, uh, create a, a bit more complicated settings, you go to Omen Light Studio. And click this Omen Light Studio, and what it does is visualize all these devices that can be controlled by the Omen Light Studios, and and go to manage other devices. You can you know add new new devices. Um, I guess the Philips uh, Trinkly uh, is a device that that are compatible with uh, this Omen Light Studio. I don't have any other devices, so my I that's why you only see this on my desktop. Anyways, go to effect, and you need to understand uh, what the layer is, what the zone is. So in the basic settings that we we just saw, you know, zone is like one, two, three, four is quite is it's already um, preset. But what it does with the Oman Light Studio is actually you can um, create the layer. And, and name the name the zone okay so in here I created one two three four five six um, layers and and uh, I, I changed color of these six layers uh, differently the for example of this front bottom which I named as a the front bottom this one if I want to to separate between like let's say the, the first half and the second half of this the unique uh, fan patterns I can just change this layer like this and you see the others are turned off and I go um, I, I go ahead and create uh, another new layer and name let's say um, front bottom two okay uh, enter and I bring this to the next to front bottom and uh, then then you click this one, uh, this uh, rectangular uh, icon, then you will see the new layer pops up. And, and this is the layer of this, the front bottom. And you just move here, and you see, already the, the color hasn't changed. And I can change it to like whatever color I want, or I go to like breathing, or, or color cycles, and, and themes, oceans, you see, yeah. And, and and by increasing decreasing this uh, size of these uh, zone selections um, you can uh, combine the settings into two or into one into half 
or like the other half like this by the way i don't need this uh on the bottom too so let me just tilt it okay and then expand uh, this layer to cover this one hmm, looks nice right and um there's one other thing that you can select is um you you go you click this one and you can select whether you want uh, this area to be non or rgb or or algb so if um you just want to go with a static colors uh, just just rgb you can you can go ahead and just just change the colors like this um this one here you don't really use this is the the setting for um um how to say it uh, uh the lightings that that connect outside of this your system so you don't really change this so just uh put it into dawn and you just change the color of of these guys and you can just change it like this um um yeah is this blinking because the first color i put was red and the second thing is a, a blue and i i put as as a, as a breathing right and um, color cycle yeah i'm using this one so it's, it's showing the color uh, showing with uh with the different colors just like the, the the galaxy patterns right so this is rgb but if you want to have uh, addressable ones, you know, showing different patterns um, per per uh, uh, what the, the 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 LED is, you just change it to ARGB, and it shows like it will show like this. Um, this one I also want to go with the ARGB oh, color. I want this to be uh, my bottom John to be. color cycle galaxy as well but what i see is uh upper fan is ah uh, so radial so this one i think should go to radial too uh, i guess speed is different speed um 50 this one is okay, 50 so now it should be um exactly the same okay so um and you can change the direction like this um all right guys so anyways this is how you change uh uh, uh your your uh light of your system right as you can tell uh this light studio provides you uh, a bit more uh, complexity of, of settings to your system um but um i think it's is a little bit complicated right so um i personally recommend just just go with uh this the basic lightings and this is good enough to to to, to do um whatever when um you want to make uh your your piece more uh cool and and fancier than uh, no lighting effect okay all right so um that's it this is the uh the end of my video uh, uh by the way one more thing um when i uh updated my system a few weeks ago i realized that this performance control now we have this extreme and i was not able to change this power mode to be extreme and then it was keep showing me the uh the message is saying that i need to go to bios and and change the setting to be uh extreme um so so i did and now i can i can change this to be extreme or performance or whatever and and it's quite simple you just restart your pc right after the oman logo comes up you press uh, f10 and you will be able to enter um bio settings in the bio settings you will see uh the advance at the bottom of your left uh, menu pane and and you will find uh extreme on and off um you if you and then change that that extreme on and off to be on and and save the bio settings and exit and come back to this oman settings uh, you have this extreme uh, uh enabled um, um without any problems okay uh guys this is end of my video so have a have a wonderful day and and a wonderful wonderful evening um and um see you next time bye bye